glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Purdue is standing on the precipice of having this season become a total disaster. So in this one, if something doesn't go their way early, they've got to forget it. Each play, a life and history of its own, short memory, try to build some type of rhythm, and maybe finally get a double. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Wisconsin lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. For these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tipped away. Brett, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. That was complete. He stopped immediately. Six yards that time on the pass play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. Lane is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 41. Wisconsin's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He, he does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn the wrong way. More importantly, he's not going to miss out on a blitz on pass protection. So he's, a, he's really just a total package, very consistent, very reliable running back that this team utilizes. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. Watch 14, watch 14. Hey, my kick is you. My kick is you. And he shoved out of bounds at the 50. to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Marcus to punt. The 
This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Wisconsin's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Passes, and it's almost picked off. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Third down. For Silva, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Jackson is back to receive. Jackson takes it at the 45, brought down at the 45-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And down he goes at the 35. That'll make it second and inches. From the 35-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball in the 29. Here we go. Green 88. Green 88. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That'll bring up third and four. Quickly to the tailback, and he's tackled right away. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Got it. Tight ends got the first, and they push him out at the 15. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. We played one. Still no score. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to come up with a sack. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Come on. 
So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Here we go! And they make the stop at the six. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the ten. Release tight end incomplete. He could be intended to see you on the play. That'll make it third and five. He goes out of bounds right around the 12 yard line. They're coming after this punter. It's a short kick. That ball wasn't in the air very long, but it got a really good bounce to tack on some extra yards. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll give it off here. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. That brings up third and ten. Swings it out left to the halfback. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Zips it to the tight end. Excellent open field tackle. You feel bad to criticize anybody for being aggressive, but if he wouldn't have bid on the play action, I don't know if they would have been able to pick up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 38. So the Badgers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Decides to slide. Wisconsin will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Quick throw, 
That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. This is the eighth play of this drive. Stopped in his tracks. They're about four yards away here on second down. He gets out to about the eight. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And this is the tenth play of the drive. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Green on the delay. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. He scrambled. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. the PAT. It was an 11 play, 66 yard drive and they add 7 points to the scoreboard. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Marcus has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. The Boilermakers will use their first time out of the half. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Lane awaits the snap. He dropped it. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Wisconsin is up seven. So at the end of the half, the Badgers in front, 7-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, 
the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 30. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for the corner. He keeps it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Wisconsin is up a score. Up the middle for a nice game. Green gains about five yards on the run. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Five yard line. Interesting to go with the same play again, but it pays off with a big gainer. From the 35 yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 33. two-yard line. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 12. Field tackle. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the nine yard line. So the Badgers lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. It's the ninth play of the drive. Larry, Larry. Wisconsin up seven points. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it fourth and four. This should be an easy field goal. Wisconsin can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. Marcus looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. 
And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Wisconsin's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Lawrence with the play fake. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 50. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Let's see if they can keep the drive alive here. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. The offense falls on it, and he's tackled at the 46. Try to change the field position with his kick. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Taken down at the 33 yard line. That's a that makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Four down, four down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Here we go. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. This turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Wisconsin's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. scoops it up boy the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. 
He's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. shy of the sticks. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down. From the 22-yard line, first down, just under three to go in regulation. Here's a handoff, left side. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. He's tackled at the 12-yard line. Parker gets three yards on the carry. Purdue's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Tries to get around the corner, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. the extra point a 10 play 62 yard drive and they put up seven points and brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running runs. everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick they'll bring him down at the 25 Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Just under two minutes in the game. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. Page with the tackle at the 41-yard line. First down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Thompson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Nice. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Ah! 
It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on 24. Under a minute left. They bring him down in the backfield. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Badgers! And he tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? In Conference USA, the defenses are getting cut to pieces. And for FIU, they've won two straight. FIU gets the W, 13-10. 24 to nothing, our score. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. And he's tackled right away. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 24 to nothing, Wisconsin. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.